everybody welcome back to my channel my name is patrice happy holidays it's almost christmas you guys we are almost there i'm so excited about it i don't know about you guys i'm just starting to get into the like festive holiday spirit let's talk about it right let's talk about it sometimes i get a little depressed around this time of year because it's just so much going on and like just so much put on you with having to do so much because of Christmas but I'm trying to you know get there your girl's trying to get there so today in this video we're going to do a wonderful glam look for Christmas I want to get you girls ready for you for some of you who don't know what to do or, or what kind of look you want to go for that's why I'm here that's why I'm sent to you so if you like my content and you like what I do and you know that I'm sent here exactly for you yes you Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a love bug, join my family, be my girl. We sit back, we chat, we do makeup, we get cute, we glam, we glow, we grow. All of that here on this channel. So yeah, go ahead and stick around and see how I get this look together at the end. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, I have already done my face. Um, I did not want to make this a very long video. I really just wanted to focus on the eyes and the lip for today. The face was just my normal, everyday look that I do with my face. Um, nothing different, so if you wanted to see how I do from start to end, I do have other videos that you can definitely click on. Um, I'll try to put the little eye somewhere here um, for a video that you can look at, so definitely go ahead and do that because I have other content for that. Um, so yeah, today we're going to focus on the eye and the lip. We're going to do a very glamorous um, red lip today. Um, I don't know if you girls know, but I love me a bun. I'm a bun girl, okay? Bun. Buns have more fun. So for me, this would be my hairstyle, uh, which would be a bun with some cute glamorous clips. And then I'm doing the two bangs on the side. So we'll see how everything comes together at the end, okay? I'm keeping the eyes simple, girls. We're keeping the eyes simple, okay? Um, meaning, I'm going to do probably um, a brown neutral look. Um, I have three eyeshadow palettes here that I'm looking at. I've um, been trying to figure out which ones I want to pull from. I have been using my Jeffree Star um, a lot, and I really like it. But like I said, if you watch my other video, which if you haven't, go watch it when I did a smoky eye. I'm not a big fan of the brown in that palette. So, I did just receive recently, if you're not living under a rock, if you don't know who this is or who this is by, is our very own Jackie Ina. I love her. If you have not watched her before, go ahead and watch her. She is super dope. And I do have her, look at that girls. Look at the girls. So pretty. I do have her palette. I think I'm gonna use this one. I have used it a little bit, as you can see. She's been touched. She's been touched in the right ways. Get into those colors, girls. Get into the colors, please. So yeah, I think we're gonna just gonna go with this one. This gives you like a festive vibe too, right? Not just me, right? So yeah. And it comes with a really nice brush, uh, ladies. Like I said, I've already used it, so I'm gonna clean it off, but it's very soft very movable so it can blend out the um, eyeshadows very well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to start off with the color Credit, which is this brown here. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my, my air is on. I try to be cute and festive with my little um, blue robe to match my blue background, but it gets a little hot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go in with the brown color Credit and I'm just going to as you know, start right over the crease and take it up like always. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm looking down because I have a mirror here, even though I can look here, because Jackie Ina comes with the mirror, but let me go ahead and, like I said, she's new new. I haven't even peeled off the, I normally don't because I like my mirror to stay clean, but I can use this. It's like it's really close up on your eyes. So, yes, we're gonna go in with credit. So, if you have this palette as well, you can go ahead and do this with me or play it back and do it when you're getting ready to do your makeup. 
use a light hand girls don't be too stiff when you're using the brush don't be tight with it just like just imagine I'm, I'm not sure if anyone else does art I really don't I'm not a drawer but I can't color or whatever but paint but for the most part I'm not an artist in that manner but when you're holding your utensil your tools just light handed because you want it to move with you okay so those are the motions I'm going in And these colors are very pigmented, see? Very pigmented, so you don't need a lot, you really don't. But if you like and want to deepen the color, you can. Low key, high key, I think this is my favorite eye palette so far. Yeah. Jackie, I for the win, you go girl. I have honestly been trying to get this palette for forever and I, I didn't. And Black Friday was like, hey, get that palette, girl. So that's when I purchased mine for Black Friday. Okay, as you can see, it's very pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and go back into credit. I always do the little flick of the wrist. Flick, look at the flick of the wrist, ay. Hey, look at the flick of the wrist, ay. Hey. <laughs> little access, get out the little access, and we're gonna do the same thing in the other eye. I always stop right, start, ugh, sounds hot. I always start at the outer part and then work my way in. And sometimes you may see my little pinky up. <laughs> and we're just gonna go in circular motions. And then take it up. And then if you need to, it's always okay to stop, look, you know, step back, look, because you want it to match, okay? You want the same deepness of color here, over here, you want the same height, everything. So once I've already put down the first color, when I go back in, as you can see, I didn't go back on the end. I can go, I can start here because I already set my my lines, my boundaries, my trace, my staple, whatever you want to call it. It's already there. I already know what I'm doing. And so I do want to deepen it up a lot like I did this one more so in the crease area. And then it gets a little lighter, as you can see, at the top. And I want to do the same here. So as I say in every video, it's all about the blend. Honestly, when you're putting on eyeshadow, a lot of people think it's so hard. And honestly, I used to think it was hard. Um, I did not think I can ever do eyeshadow. I think I do a pretty good job for the most part. I'm not, I haven't been doing makeup for a long time at all. Backstory, why are we doing this? Let's take it back. I have not been doing makeup for a long time. I didn't even know I was good at makeup or my standard of good. A lot of people think I'm really good and then some may think I ain't. <laughs> See, just all, I think I do a really good job myself. Um, especially for someone that's never done makeup before. If, well, you don't know me, know me like that, but you're getting to know me, right? I did not wear makeup. I just used to do eyeliner, mascara, and lip gloss. That was it. I didn't even use foundation. I didn't do any of that. And I just started at, I'm 35 now. I really got into makeup at like, lap 34. Like really got into it. I always wanted to do makeup. I watched a lot of YouTube videos forever, but I just never thought I would be able to do it. I thought like, hey, I don't care. What anybody say? I can't do that. I can't do a cut crease. I, I'm still working on that and I may tempt that today. We're gonna probably try a cut crease. I can't do this, I can't do that. I really counted myself out. Like I really didn't think I was capable of doing it, but you can. You can do anything you put your mind to. And it, 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 just to take you into it, a very spiritual aspect of it, you know, God was really showing me that I was gifted in this area and I didn't even know that I was. I didn't know that God had 
birthed this in me before I was even born. Like it was put into me when I was in my mother's womb, but it didn't occur to me that I had this talent until last year, when I was 34 years old. And I actually started to really buy makeup and try it. And I would sit there in the mirror after watching all of these YouTube tutorials on makeup and try it on myself and found out that I can do it. I really can. And it's a gift that God gave me and I'm gonna to continue to work on my gifts. Even though we have a gift does not mean that, oh, I get it, so I'm just gonna run with it. I'm just gonna be amazing. No, you do have to work at your gifts. You do have to study your crafts. And because I like makeup, I don't know where it's gonna take me, guys. I really don't. I don't know in the future if God has it where I'm going to have a makeup line. I don't know if I'm going to actually be a, a landscaper and do, not landscaper, but like a makeup artist and do makeup myself. I don't know. I don't know where this is going to lead me. As of now, what I do know is I've always wanted to do YouTube. I love makeup. I love fashion. I love hair. And I love talking to people. I love communicating with women, young girls, and experiencing things with you guys and sharing things with you guys. And, you know, I, I love that. So God just showed me this was a platform for me to take and I'm going to take it on. So guys, before I continue to keep on going and get the preaching, <laughs> I'm going to dabble a little bit of edge right underneath the credit. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going right back here in the outer, but instead of taking it up, I'm gonna stay low with it. And it's basically going to be in the, the lower lid into the crease area. Just blending those colors together. Just do the same on the other side. Hey guys, with everything, you know, you have your little trial and errors, you know, and that's okay. But you keep going. You keep going. You keep pushing and you get better. And you know what? It's always good to have someone in your corner or multiple people if you're blessed to have more than one. It's always good. And I have a lot of people in my corner, not a lot, but a, a lot to me, more than I need. Or not, let me not say more than I need, more than I thought I needed. I have more than what I thought I needed. God gifted me with more than what I thought I needed. Um, but there's one particular person um, that stays on me and gets on me about my YouTube. And it's my friend Kelly. I call her my, you know, she's like a little sis. <laughs> and she gets on me if I don't record. And Kelly... I've said it to you before. I'm saying it to you now on my channel. I appreciate you and I love you and I thank you for staying on me when I start to become a procrastinator because I'm very good at procrastinating. When I do that, it's like she senses or she knows. And she says it's because she looks forward to my videos. And sometimes I feel like nobody's gonna watch me. Nobody's gonna care what I have to say. Nobody, has, nobody cares what I'm doing. But there are people that care. And there are people that's watching. And when you think people are not watching, they're watching. And sometimes they're just silent watchers. They're silent supporters. Support comes from different areas, guys. You know, is is they're not always loud. I'm not a always I'm not always a loud supporter of my friends. And some may think because I'm not loud and boisterous that I'm not supporting. There are different forms of support. I support in silence. And and not to say that I'm just quiet, I just say that I can just watch, but I, I do support where I purchase certain things. Um, I do support where I may share their things. Um, I do support I tell others about their products or what they're doing. Um, I try to send people to them as well. I am a natural born influencer in every aspect of my life. And I have noticed that I've been that way my whole life, my whole life. If I think about a lot of things that I've done, even from a little girl, people will always ask me, where did you get this? Or where did you get that? And how you do this and how you do that? And I've never been the type of female or young lady who did not want to share it. I was never like, I ain't telling her where I get this from because I don't want her to wear what I got or take what I have, you know. Uh, we'll get into another story time about more things deep into that, but I always shared 
I just shared it because you may not do it like me. You may just do it how what fits you, you know. And so I've always been that girl. So I'm always sharing. I'm always sharing. So if you are the type of person like me, if you love my content, if you can just please share it. You know, there's someone else I may be able to help that I can't reach that knows nothing about me, but you know me. When you've stumbled across my video, um, liking the video, subscribing, sharing, commenting, that just does so much to a person. Um, and it's free. You know that? It's free. So yes, let's keep going. I feel like I want to stop here because like I said, I did want to do a cup crease, but I think I'm going to do that for something different i think i'm going to stop here with the eye because it's all it's going to be all about the lip girls it's really going to be about the lip so we're going to put a little eyeliner on i am looking for a new eyeliner because i love my um beauty bakery eyeliner but i need another one this one feel like it's getting dry on me so i want another one that has like that's really deep black like a deep black almost matte eyeliner so if you know of any Shout it out below, tag it down below, write it down below. I would definitely go look. Because I need another one. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and line these eyes, girls. Oh, you know what? Okay, after we line the eyes, we're gonna do a little bit underneath the eyes too, okay? Okay, so as you can see, we went ahead and I lined our eyes. Uh, did a little bit a little thicker than I normally do because I'm going to do lashes as well so yeah i just wanted it to be a little thicker a line for the lashes to sit upon you feel me so yes we're going to do that and i've worn these lashes already and i'm going to wear them again today because i really like them i have two pair but i'm going to put on this ones i already had on i got them upside down you see they're falling but we don't care it's natural <laughs> but these are lily lashes the style is san diego so we're going to put these on today Oh, yeah, I did say before we do that, I do want to put a little bit of color under the eye. I find that this is very pretty um, if you don't want to put like black line or anything like that. So I'm going to use the exact same color. So I'm going to go in with credit. And we're just going to put it under the Whatever it is that you're trying to do or accomplish in life, go for it. find that you feel like this is like too much what I normally do is I take my nice little fine I'll use this one a really fine skinny brush and I just clean it up with the concealer a little bit because I've already powdered there so I don't want it to be like clumpy or you know really mess it up
though I also, and I'm not editing this out or anything, I wanted to, whenever I make mistakes, um, I do edit them out so it's not all in the video or whatever, and I really don't really make that many mistakes at all. I'm not bragging, I just don't. Um, but I wanna show you guys when you do make a mistake, this is a good way of cleaning it up. And you can't even tell. And we're back to normal. Let's keep going. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the glue to my lash. Also, I've never done it like this, but I did see, I forgot who it was. I saw them use the back of the brush to put their glue on. And I think of that young lady's name because I've watched her a few times but I do not want to butcher the name of her channel and then I'm just shaping it again because like I said I've worn these uh, when I, I'm gonna look it up and then I'll put her in the description box below she's really good as well I really like her and then I use my little lash thing and I'm gonna go back in with I should have brought out my mirror, but I was like, uh, but I was like, uh. So we're going to use Jackie. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see if I can do this on camera. If I end up popping back in the next slide and my lashes are already on, I wasn't able to do it on camera. <laughs> so as you can see with this lash, it... So as you can see with this lash, it goes from... They're small and then they get bigger and like flare out so it's like a flare so then you know that this part of the lash is in the inner part and then it flares out also and I'm just also myself learning how to put on lashes um, I was about to say <laughs> this is what I'm, I'm learning to put on lashes too guys so for me uh, you have to let it dry get a little tacky I had to find a really good lash glue because the other lash glue was not working for me. Even that Dewey du Duo, I didn't like it. So I found this lash glue um, in my local beauty supply store. It's eyelash glue and I got the color dark. And it works really good. Like it stays on. So it's anti-fungal, 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 natural extracts added dries quickly waterproof durable and holding power shake well before you so yeah i really like it so if you see that screenshot that just in case i forget to put it in the description box below Okay, so y'all see, I had to go and then come back because this lash just really does not want to act right. She don't. A homegirl like, hey, I'm not here for this today. I ain't say I wanted to go today. You could have used somebody else today. I ain't asked to be on the show today. <laughs> but look, <laughs> I'm not going to play with these lashes. I would not be playing with these lashes today. But we got homegirl on. She's on. So now let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. And we're gonna focus on the, you know, the main spot of the show is that real lip. That real lip. Got that real lip. That real lip. <laughs> red lip. So we're gonna go in with, and this is my first time using my red lip lip liner that I purchased a long time ago for red lip purposes. And what's the better time than now to put it on? So this is the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner. So yeah, let's open her up. Let's show her off. Okay, show her off. Mm. 
the amount that it's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and line. You know what? I do have lip gloss on. So let me take it off. Like I said, you may hear my AC in the back, y'all. Look. Y'all want me to sit up here and sweat to death or no? <laughs> so, okay. Anastasia, Jackie, I am. We're going to keep using you. It glides on very smooth, like it's super soft. Like I'm almost scared to press too hard because I feel like I'm going to break it. Top lip, I do. I do like a little heart. It's a little heart motion. Uh, uh, yeah. guys I'm so excited to use this lip now the lip lipstick that I'm using is from Beauty Bakery and I have worn this before and it's so pretty I mean, this is what the applicator looks like it picks up a lot guys and it is matte so. Take the tip of it and line it as well. Oh, man. It picks up so much. And it dries down very fast. This is my holiday look, my holiday glam. Easy on the eyes as far as the eyeshadow goes because the lashes is gonna be popping and the lip gonna be popping. Now, like I said, this is a matte, so you can definitely leave it like this if you prefer, or you can go ahead and put a lip um, gloss on top to give it a little shine if that's what you're looking for. We got the curls in the front. We got the bun in the back. We got the baby hairs on fleek. And then, like I said, through accessories. So I have my bangles. This, me and my daughter has a bracelet that we keep on so we can never take off. We have our accessories, rings, and our little clips in. So I really, 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 really do think I did a great job. Like, I really, really think this is so cute. I really like everything and how it's put together. So the last thing you would have to do that we're not gonna do in this video is your fit, okay? Put the fit on and hey, and even for us that's not going anywhere because we're still kind of quarantined because of the C word, you mean a nice little cute little robe won't hurt. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some great tips. I hope you reenact and recreate 
this look if you do not even just do this look but if you do do this look definitely tag me i leave my handles and in the description box follow me on my ig on my snap tag me if you repost it or anything and then i can post it or if you do your own glam holiday look let me see it i want to see what you guys came up with but once again thank you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the like and thumbs up this video definitely go ahead and subscribe and comment below okay and become a love buzz i love you guys so much happy holidays see you in the new year this is